Jan Brewer in Arizona promoting um, her version of Brewer Care. No, no, if you need a transplant, you can't get it. Sorry, you get to die. Two people already have. Among other things, remaking the state, a woman in Chandler, Arizona, who says she's a Republican, decided to launch a grassroots effort back in January to recall Governor Brewer. It seems to be taking on a life of its own. Dr. Matt Jett is with us, the spokesperson for the Committee to Recall Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. The website, recallgovernorbrewer.com. Dr. Matt Jett, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Tell me, first of all, who are you and what brought you to this? I've been asked that question many a times, who I am. Um, I think the short, the, the, the uh, Slim Jim version is uh, I ran against Jan Brewer uh, in last year's gubernatorial race. I was a Republican myself. I am now a registered Democrat. And I got into the gubernatorial race because Jan Brewer nearly two years ago said she was going to cut access, nearly 300,000 people. She was actually going to cut transplants. She was going to cut education and, and, uh, and really hurt the economy in, in many different ways. Um, and that's why I got into the gubernatorial race then. Now, obviously, Jan Brewer won, and we know, I think, in large measure around the country why that happened to be, because the election itself was hijacked to say in not so many words, uh, by one particular issue. And we've seen this issue come up uh, even more so today with SB, I think, 1495, Mm -hmm. with the own state army uh, regarding immigration. So that issue has truncated all other types of conversation and I think more important issues what's happening in Arizona. And then once the election, you know, was concluded, um, I got involved with the, uh, the committee to recall Arizona Governor Jan Brewer with the founder out of Chandler, Mimi, and, and we've been working side by side, and we are very excited about what's happening here. And you are right. It has taken on a life of its own. Uh, our volunteers have more than doubled in the past few days, and, wow. and the uh, donations have more than tripled. So we're very excited. For our listeners on uh, KPMX or HX in uh, Phoenix, and uh, while well, we're also in Tempe, and well, we're statewide, actually, on Sirius and on XM and on, on Dish Network and DirecTV. Uh, for our listeners in Arizona, recallgovernorbrewer.com is the website. Of course, anybody in the country can go check it out and, and uh, support in whatever way they can. But for people in Arizona, uh, if you want to sign this petition and, and get this thing on the election, this is, this is how to do it. We're talking with Dr. Matt Jett. Um, you said you were a Republican and you became a Democrat because of the extremism of Brewer. You're, my word's not yours. Um, my father was a Republican. I grew up with a Republican. And and he was a, an Eisenhower Republican. I don't think that he would have recognized Matt, uh, Jan Brewer as a Republican. Is that, no. is that kind of what happened to you, or, or am I misreading this? I, I think what you're witnessing here, and if I can speak to this uh, real briefly on it, is that you're seeing a trend to, towards the right uh, w- regarding one particular party. And that's actually dragging the whole electorate that way. For example, uh, if Teddy Roosevelt was alive today, he might very well be called a socialist for saving national parks and breaking up monopolies. Right. If Abraham Lincoln was alive today, he very well might, might be called a, a liberal for what he did, you know, uh, particularly against state rights. You know, yeah. in Arizona, it's quite interesting. If there's ever a more important time to teach our children about history, today is it. The same issues are coming up today we've been battling with for, since the founding of our country. So both Teddy and Lincoln probably wouldn't be Republicans. And if you go to the modern presidency, you would say, would Reagan even pass the smell test of being a Republican today? And, and a lot of people like to say Reagan is the spokesman of the Republican Party, but I highly doubt, and I think people like Karl Rove would even agree, that he probably would not be the same type of Republican needed to be in that party today. Well, he was in favor Um, of a woman's right to choose an abortion. He raised taxes 11 times in seven years out of his eight years of his presidency. (laughs) He signed an an amnesty bill. He signed an amnesty for three three and a half million illegal aliens. (laughs) Exactly. So... So I think what you're witnessing here is an extreme version uh, taking hold of one particular party. And and before, when I started, I was a a moderate. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I've been called every name under the the sun, uh, particularly during the last election, for standing up what I think are not Republican or Democrat ideas, but actually human rights ideas and what is just and which is is, uh, for equality for all individuals. Uh, And that is what this recall for Jan Brewer actually is and represents, particularly in Arizona. And let me make one point clear. It's not just about a recall of Jan Brewer in Arizona. 
this is a statement, uh, and we all know what the domino theory is back in the 1960s and, and early 70s. Sure. We are witnessing a domestic domino theory that if we do not stop it here in Arizona, we're witnessing it in, in Ohio and Wisconsin, everywhere around the country. Yeah. We are witnessing a domino effect. So and in other words, what you guys are doing with regard to things like bigotry and cutting people off health care is what the guys up in Wisconsin are doing with regard to collective bargaining. I, I think Drawing a line in the sand. Absolutely. The line ha- there's only two teams here. Either you're with them or you're with us. And what Republicans are great at, and I think you agree with this, is that you can define a Republican in one sentence or two, all right, and probably in a matter of 30 seconds. Ryan, you can probably put out a, a symbol and you probably to describe what a Democrat is. It takes a long time. And there's so many different issues that Democrats feel strongly about that we need to unite under a, a common flag, under con- common principles that says we will not take it anymore. We will take a stand, and that's what this recall in Arizona of Jan Brewer is. Yeah. We are drawing a line in the sand of Arizona for the past two years. We have been taking enough of it, and we are drawing a line before it's too late, before it affects other states, and before it affects uh, our children of tomorrow. Yeah, very, very well said. We're talking with Dr. Matt Jett, uh, spokesperson of the Committee to Recall Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. The website, recallgovernorbrewer.com. What's the deadline, and how many signatures do you need? Uh, we need uh, a minimum, roughly 432,000 signatures by May 28th. And, and I'm sorry. And how are you doing? Uh, we're doing fantastic. Uh, like I said before, we are du- our uh, volunteers have doubled and our contributions have more than tripled. That's great. Okay, get over to Recall Governor, spelled G O V E R N O R, Brewer, B R E W E R dot com, and uh, check it out. Do I have it right, Matt? Yep. Okay, thank you. Good luck and keep up the great work. Thanks for being on our show.